Chris Gavis hit a two-run single to back a solid start by rookie Wei Yin Chen and help the Baltimore Orioles take a 3-1 lead over Andy Pettit and the New York Yankees after six innings Monday night in the second game of their AL Division Series. Mark Retnotz also drove in a run for the Orioles, who were seeking to even the best of five series between AL East rivals. For the second day in a row, the start at Camden Yards was delayed by rain, this time for 40 minutes. Chen Making his first postseason thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Start. Allowed one run and six hits over the first six innings. The Taiwanese native, who pitched previously in Japan, was 1-2 with a 5.25 era in four outings against New York this season, including two in September in which he yielded the total of 11 runs over 11 one to 3 innings. The 40-year-old Pettit whose 19 wins are the most in postseason history, gave up three runs and six hits in six innings. Base running was a key early in the game. Ichiro Suzuki danced around Orioles catcher Matt Wieters to score, while Baltimore JJ thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Hardy failed to see his third base coach and was left stranded. Pettit retired the first eight batters before Robert Andino hit a blue single with two outs in the third. Nate McLeod also singled, and a four-pitch walk to Hardy loaded the bases for Davis, who lined the single to right. Adam Jones followed by grounding the single just beyond the reach of shortstop Derek Jeter, but Hardy stopped at third after failing to spot third base coach D. Marlowe Hale waving him home. Matt Wieter then popped out with the bases loaded. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Wieters led off the sixth with a double and scored on a single by Retnotes to make it 3-1. In the fourth, the Yankees used two singles and a walk too low the bases with one out. Eduardo Nunez popped out before Jeter bounced into a 4C out. The Yankees used the deft footwork of Suzuki to take a 1-0 first inning lead, and it had nothing to do with his speed on the bases. Jeter led off the game with a single and Suzuki reached when Retnotes fumbled a bare hand pickup and thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. First base for an error. Alex Rodriguez hit a low line drive at Andino, and the second baseman caught it and doubled up Jeter. Robinson Cano followed with a drive to the base of the right field wall for a double. The relay from Davis to Andino to Wieters beat Suzuki to the plate by plenty but he dodged the tag coming toward home. Suzuki then circled around the batter's box, juked around the catcher's desperate lunge and touched the plate an instant before Wieter's glove found its mark. Suzuki also got thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. An infield single in the third inning, extending his hitting streak at Camden Yards to 21 games. After sitting out the 2011 season, Pettit returned this year to join the Yankees. Despite missing nearly three months with a fractured left ankle, he went 5-4 with a 2.87 era in 12 starts. I wish he would have stayed retired, Orioles manager Buck Showalter joked before the game. It doesn't surprise me, anything Andy is doing. He's got a great presence and he brings a real competitive in there, done that. Pettit thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased was making his 43rd career playoff start, most by pitcher in Major League history. He struck out five to break the tie with Roger Clemens and gain sole possession of second place on the postseason strikeout list with 178. John Smoltz had 199.